So starting from this episode, Elysio is using his cards to suit up. Gee, wonder where he got the inspiration for that. Still, you gotta be careful with cards like these. You never know who you may end up accidentally seal. Think. Oops. Ah, sorry, uh, don't worry, uh, unseal him just as soon as I find the remote. The episode opens with, what the hell is the deal with these camera angles? Did Michael Bay take over production for a minute? Then again, Noir does kind of have a Galvatron face to him, doesn't he? Huh? He turned back into Megatron in the last movie? Never one for continuity, were you, Bay? Anyway, standard villain fare with Elysio saying that he was gonna take over doing all the evil hoo-ha and whatever. Let's just get to the real meat of the episode. Rio is now apparently living at his sister's bakery and having cute interactions with her and even Bibri. The two actually call one another freeloaders. I mean, come on guys, you're in an anime. Freeloading is just a natural way of life for you guys, isn't it? In town, he's greeted by his former female classmates who point out he seems a bit different. Yeah, like his hair for one thing. Then again, considering what the neighboring productions are doing, maybe it's not that big of a surprise. Though it's worth pointing out, one of those girls just so happened to be one of his former victims who he quietly apologized to. Goes without saying that this'll come into play later. The next day, Ryo ends up helping out at his sister's shop, and thankfully he is no longer making charcoal flavored sweets anymore. You know, in hindsight, I probably should've made a cinnamon bun as Ryo's signature sweet, because that's exactly what he is. Everything is looking good, until all the pastry chefs in the neighborhood come a-knocking. Apparently somebody resembling Ryo in very fancy clothing have been going around ruining their products. I would question how they came to the conclusion that a normal looking kid like Kim could turn their sweets gray, but considering that we're 41 episodes into this show, I think this town has just come to accept that the paranormal is a part of their everyday life now. There's also something else behind it, but we'll get to that in just a bit. For now, even though he knows he's innocent, Ryo feels that they're not wrong for blaming him, considering his past sins, again referring back to him quietly apologizing to that one girl. He runs away, and even after being reassured by his sister and friends that they've long since forgiven him for his past crimes, Fact of the matter is, he hasn't forgiven himself. What's worse, all these accusations are always starting to tarnish his sister's good name due to association. Thus, for her sake, he does what he believes is the only right thing to do. Meanwhile, after noticing the baker's unusually aggressive behavior, Yukari and Akira are able to figure out who the true culprit is, and unsurprisingly, it was Alicio, who had used one of Graves' old minions to pose as Julio. Now let's see, which one should I use? No. No. Ah, here we go. There's an Akiba Ranger clip for every cliched situation. The two expose it, but the damage has already been done. Taking advantage of this, Elysio, as I said at the beginning of the video, transforms using his cards into- <laughs> Dude, if you wanted Athena to acknowledge you as a saint, maybe you should have gone with an armor that's a few sizes smaller than that monstrosity. <laughs> Meanwhile, Xiao manages to catch up with Ryo just as he's about to leave town. They have honestly one of the best exchanges in the entire anime with Ryo pouring his heart out about how much his sister means to him and how badly he wanted to work side by side with her making sweets. As someone studying to become his sister's accountant, I know how you feel Ryo. Xiao is finally able to get through to him by saying that she doesn't mind sharing her brother's sins because no matter what, they're siblings, and that's just what siblings do. With that resolve, Xiao's able to join in on the fight against the uh, not so Omega Elysio, and has one of the better one on one fights in the series. Oh, sure, there's still no CQC, but she does still land some actual painful looking hits on the guy. So, just so that we're clear, Xiao is the main character at this point, isn't she? Well, anyway, they defeat him, and the episode ends with all the bakers in town after having learned the truth apologizing to Ryo. In return, he shyly serves them up a massive platter of waffles. Best team day of the season, I won't hear otherwise. Also, how many waffle irons do you guys own to make that many in a reasonable amount of time? So, an episode focused on the siblings who shared the best damn story arc in the whole show had a good episode. Is anyone actually surprised? Poor Xiao kind of got caught up in the whole mob mentality of her little group during the past couple of weeks, but this episode really helped her get back on the right track. 
Pretty much every scene with her and Julio on screen together was just great, no matter how sad things got. Rio's inner turmoil felt very real, from his quietly apologizing to one of his former victims, to lashing out against Shiel out of fear that he'll just strike her down again. He was exhibiting clear signs of trauma from the whole experience, making for some really good character moments. And through this, Shiel proved her worth as a precure by pulling him out of his slump by simply using her kindness. And having one of the best short fights of the season helped too. Yeah, a minor complaint about this episode was how quickly and easily certain problems were resolved. Yukari and Akira had no trouble at all finding and busting the fake reel, but at the same time, I think I'm glad they didn't dwell on it for too long, and just as a younger brother, I can really appreciate episodes like these. I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving and did lose any limbs during Black Friday. Heaven knows those SNES scalpers can be like wild animals. For me on Friday, I just stayed at home in my comfy little apartment, working on my videos. Which by the way, top picker insert song scenes should be out soon. And until then though, fell for now my friends and... Oh yeah, uh, the cart. Uh, let's see here, um... Kick, thunder, metal, magnet, mock, time, fusion, absorb, evolution... Ooh, these things are out of order. Poison, fusion...